Hey guys, welcome to Network Chuck. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to install an ASA license to increase whatever license level you're at currently on your Cisco ASA. In this specific environment, I will be enabling a Security Plus license on my ASA to enable dual ISPs. So first you'll need to go to cisco.com forward slash go forward slash license to uh, download your license. Go ahead and click uh, continue to product license registration. And uh, you'll enter your uh, PA key, or sorry, PAK license, uh, which you should rec have received when you bought it from your um, from your vendor or your uh, your uh, Cisco reseller. And now I can uh, fulfill my pack and download my license. And uh, on the Cisco ASA, to fulfill the license, Cisco will register your license with a, uh, ser the serial of your device. So, um, now you'll just go into your ASA, which I did, and uh, find your serial and put it into your box there. And now that ASA is tied to your license, so you must use that license on your ASA. I've never had to unlicense an ASA, so um, if I ever do come to that, I will make a video about it. Um, just make sure you license the correct device. So I'm processing my stuff. And I'm good to go. And uh, they'll send you a license to your email address. And as you can see, it just came in my inbox. Exciting. All right, so now I've got my email to uh, upload my license. I'll just highlight the uh, key there. And now I'm on my Cisco ASA. I'll go into configure terminal mode or global configuration mode. And I will enter the um, command activate key, activate dash key. And then I'll just right click to uh, paste my key into putty there on my Cisco ASA and press enter. So you'll have to update your flash with the activation key and your um, new key will become active when you reload your ASA. And go ahead and copy my running config to my startup config with the uh, copy running config startup config command or copRS for short. Now I'm going to do a show of error real quick and just uh, make show you that uh, right now my uh, failover is disabled which means my security plus license is not enabled currently. And once I perform my reload, I will have that license enabled. So I'm reloading now. Just finish the video. Alright, now I'm in my ASA, I'm going to do a show ver just a show version to show you that my license has been enabled. So you can see that my failover is enabled with active standby, um, which will give me the option to get things going here. You'll also notice that my, um, my VLANs have gone from 3 VLANs to 20 VLANs. Um, Alright guys, so well that was how you would upgrade your Cisco ASA to have a Security Plus license. Again, this enables you to have failover for your ASA if you wanted to utilize dual um, connections to your ISP. Well guys, uh, thank you for watching Network Chuck. I hope to be posting many more videos here um, in the coming months. If you have any video ideas or questions you want you have or anything you want to see, just uh, hit me up in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer any question you have. And uh, thanks for watching.